You know what we haven't done in a while? A full face of Thrive Cosmetics. Thrive Cosmetics is pretty much the brand that I founded my channel on. It was the first review that I ever did was the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. There's been a lot of speculation that I'm some kind of <laughs> industry plant or something <laughs> because of it, but <laughs> trust me, if I were, I'd be doing better. Anybody feel like they just haven't taken a deep breath in like a year, two years, three years? Anyway, let's talk about this. This is the new Buildable Blur CC Cream. I love the original Buildable Blur CC Cream, but it has a public enemy number one, octanoxate in it. Octanoxate, is, I say public enemy number one because my skin doesn't like it. And also it's not reef safe. So a lot of companies are taking it out of their formulas. Yay, it means I can use a lot more foundations and things like that that have sunscreens in them. It is a chemical sunscreen ingredient is also known as ethyl hexyl methoxy cinnamate. We can do that again. Ethyl hexyl methoxy cinnamate. And I am just pumped that they check it out. So this has always been one of my favorite formulas. It has a ton of coverage, but it's really like dewy and natural, like a little bit better than natural looking. They sent me two shades, but I'm going to have to get a lighter one. They sent me 150 light and 140 light. 140 is neutral undertones and 150 has warm undertones. They just assume that I am a little tanner than I am. And also I feel like this runs a touch warm. So I kind of want to go for like the next lighter and maybe cool toned. So there is some, you know, information to help y'all if you are planning on ordering these that I feel like they do run a little bit yellow. So I'm going to be applying the CC cream. I have a whole bunch of other stuff here. I've got the, you know, the concealer, the bronzer, the powder, the eyeshadows, so everything, you know, and it's just because I have been a friend of this brand for so long. I I will, you know, chat a little bit about that if y'all don't know the story, you know, of, of me and Thrive. But yeah, that's basically what we're gonna be doing today is like applying this, you get to see it in action and refreshing my memory on how I feel about these things. So let's go ahead and jump in. I already have a little bit of sunscreen on, but I'm actually gonna go in with some Max Strobe Cream just because I think that it's gonna help lighten the formula just a little bit, like lighten the shade, I mean, plus my skin could really just use all the help it can get. I want to get some more stuff from Mac. What should I try? I was thinking about doing a like a eyeshadow palette that y'all helped me pick out, you know, because you can do custom palettes and creators get like a certain percentage off. So I'd love to do that. Let me know what y'all want to do. Okie dokie. I don't think that that's really going to make that big of a difference, but we'll just go with it. So I'm going to go in with 140 light for neutral undertones. This is homosalate, octosalate, and zinc oxide. So it is now chemical and physical SPF. I almost said exfoliant. And I'm going to use very little because this stuff goes a long way. It's like a stretch kind of formula. The main thing that I was curious about was like, you know, are they completely reformulating it? You can see it's a little, it's a little bit yellow. Or is it going to be the same, but just with different sunscreen ingredients? As far as I can tell, it is the same, just with different sunscreen ingredients. And I'm really, really excited about that because like I said, the formula is always just really won me over. In fact, I was first introduced to the formula when I went on a giving trip with them, the first giving trip that I went on with them, which was in, actually it was an event for the Breasties, which is an organization of women kind of advocating for breast cancer survivors, as well as people who have like gotten, what would you call it? I forget what they call it, but it's like a preemptive mastectomy who have the BRCA gene. So it was really cool. It was actually like pretty bougie. The second one that I went on was a lot more kind of like, <laughs> what's the word? Um, scrappy. So, you know, they do tons of different kinds of these giving events, but this one was an event put on by the Breasties. So it was out in Beverly Hills. It was just, it was lovely. It was, actually, it was Bel Air. I don't know much about LA, but it was in Bel Air. I got to meet a ton of the people that these shades are named after. Not the foundation shades, obviously, but like the lip shades, all the colors and stuff. And I am lucky enough to have a shade of lip liner named after me because I requ literally requested like in 2018, I was like, y'all need to make a brown lip liner. And I was just, you know, one of the first people really talking about the brand. And I jokingly said, name it khaki because they were already naming things after influential women in Carissa's life, Carissa being the founder and CEO, lovely human being. Couple, what, in 2019, they flew me out there for this surprise reveal. And that's 
a video on my channel of, you know, them showing me my lip liner for the first time. And it was just this incredible whirlwind experience. I loved it so much. So that's what that looks like the first round. And I think actually the strobe cream did really help because it helped to give some slip so that it looks a little bit more um, even, even though I didn't like put a shellacking of it on, but you can put a shellacking of this on. You can get pretty much full coverage out of it and it looks incredibly beautiful if you do. Like it's wonderful. So I think that that's where I'm actually gonna stop with it because I don't wanna go too hard because I'm gonna go in with concealer and see if we can kind of brighten the shade up a little bit, but like, that's, that's unbelievably beautiful. So that was the first time that I got introduced to the CC cream. Oh my God, this is empty y'all. I need to order, oh no! This is like the first time that I've finished a concealer. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Thrive Concealer. I like it so much. It's the best concealer that I've found that gives like this much coverage that will also like dry down on its own and you can wear it with absolutely no other makeup and it will just look like skin. It's awesome stuff, but it will also, you know, cooperate in this kind of scenario as well. So it wasn't in its final packaging. It was just in like lab tubes at that point that were just like labeled by shade. And, you know, we were doing people's makeup and stuff. We got to play with it and I was like, oh, this is really cool. And I think I got to take some home and then they eventually released it and I got to, you know, debut on my channel and everything, and I loved wearing it, but again, you know, Octanoxate and I do not particularly get along, and I learned that the hard way with some other formulas, so then I went on a trip with them that was just incredibly humbling, that was after, you know, one of the bigger rounds of wildfires out in California, and going and just awarding donations, like these massive checks to fire stations and animal rescues. And I got to meet a bunch of really amazing influencers that I would never have gotten to meet otherwise. So made some like very cool lifelong friends on that one. It was just a really lovely experience and they got me crying on camera <laughs> about, about all the animals that were rescued. <laughs> I will forever blame Reed for that, sticking a camera in my face. Yeah, needless to say, I am a huge fan of the company and everything that they stand for. They donate for every product that is sold. They donate to a woman in need, you know, to thrive, basically. And Carissa has the biggest heart of anybody that I have ever met. And all the people that I've ever known through her have just been kind of like, I feel like they sort of get cast in her glow, you know? She sort of like spreads this like magic around and like when you meet someone through Carissa, the magic transfers. <laughs> So it's like a huge compliment that she would, you know, call me a friend. I love her very, very dearly, so. That went better than I expected it to, actually, because the first time that I put it on, I did apply a whole lot, but I think that with the primer, it works pretty well. I could get away with wearing that, you know, any day. Gah! Let me turn the light, on, light down so you can see. <laughs> Trying to sit in the lotus position and it's like not working. There we go. It's storming all day today, so it's a little bit difficult to light properly, but I mean, this is just one of those things that makes you look like a goddess in real life. Next, they don't have like a contour per se, but oh, they do have a powder. Let's powder first because I wanna make sure that everything goes on really evenly. So they do have a loose powder, but this is the one that I have on hand. I love their loose powder, but this is the Filtered Effects Pressed Powder, which is totally lovely. Grabbing a BK 108 and I'm just gonna kind of tippy tap. I think what I love about Thrive is that they make such practical makeup that really just like baseline makes you look and feel really beautiful. And the, the brand always feels really welcoming to me, you know? And they're not an MLM. A lot of people get them confused with there is a, an MLM called like Thrive. This is Thrive Cosmetics and they're not an MLM. They're just like an independent indie beauty brand, essentially. And they had a moment where they were, you know, doing like a test run in Ulta and then, you know, it ended and I don't really know what happened after that, but they don't sell they don't sell it anywhere. It's just just online. Sorry, I'm a little bit like low-key today. I'm just exhausted. 
I don't know. I, I like, I love to work. I do. So that's why I'm here. I kind of wouldn't know what else to do, but I also just like, I put a meme up today that says something like, you know, when I say I need a vacation, I mean that I want to go live in a terrarium and have someone else be responsible for my subsistence, essentially. Like, that's the kind of vacation I want, is one where it's like, stop making me do things at all. I don't even want to feed myself. I just want to like, lie in grass. <laughs> anyway, this is the sun chaser. <laughs> I just, I never, like, I cannot not be just a little bit dark. Okay, so this is a Sun Chaser Blur and Sculpt Bronzing Powder in Rhea. They also, they didn't just, I don't know if they reformulated this necessarily, but they came out with a ton more shades. It's like when they launched as a very, you know, independent company, every, and I'm sure this is still the case, but like every launch was funded by the previous launch. And so it all depended on how well they had done when they got, you know, more business under their belt. They were able to start expanding all the shade ranges and reformulate everything and, you know, no better do better kind of thing. So these go pretty darn deep. Obviously, like I always say, there's not a shade for every single person and every single bronzer line. But if you are kind of in that like, uh, you know, very deep, like red to magenta to purple almost undertone, um, with a bronzer, they've got, oh boy, some really gorgeous ones. Really, really gorgeous ones. I donated mine because um, I don't have any use for them and I swatched them and I donated them. I always give my unused makeup to uh, my son's daycare, like the women over there, they're obsessed. <laughs> it's awesome. So that's cute. I don't own any kind of contour from them. I'm not sure if they do one, but I'm just gonna go in with my Natasha Denona because this is the one that I trust and love. I'm actually super proud of the fact that like I have essentially panned that concealer. Pretty cool. So maybe I will go online and just order a new concealer. By the way, I use Fair Warm. I think that you can like you can get 10% off if it's your first order for like just by using my little link down there. It'll give you a unique code to use at checkout, like a one use code. But I'm pretty sure that regardless, new or old, you can go on there and I think you get a discount on your order if you get both the concealer and the CC cream. I'm using a little bit of contour in my hairline since I'm doing the side part today to make my hairline look a little bit fuller. You know, even though it's kind of grown back in since postpartum, still, I could use more hair. <laughs> I could use more hair, okay? <laughs> they make like little fiber powders and things like that, but I think that that's sufficient. In fact, the best way to do it, if you have one on hand, mine's dirty, but um, using a duo fiber, like a duo fiber powder brush, it'll really get the powder into the actual hairline. That'll do for today. So I have in the past had their powder blushes. I think I decluttered them because I've had them for so long, but I do have some of their triple threat color sticks. Man, when they came out with the shade Tessa, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, are you, it's the most gorgeous, like Fjordsy berry. <sighs> Ingrid texted me and she asked me if I was gonna do Fjords Fest again this year. And I was like, when was it last year? She's like, mid-November. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no worries. She's like, it's the best video of the year. I'm like, really? <laughs> I didn't, like, I, I don't know. I felt like it was really flawed, <laughs> but um, apparently it's some people's favorite thing. So I will definitely, I will definitely do Fjords Fest. If you're unfamiliar, Fjords Fest is where I basically swatch every single shade that's kind of like this, that works as like a Nordic child running through the fjords kind of color um, all over my face and kind of separate them by undertones and stuff. And then I take a big blender brush and I just blend them all together and I end up with a completely like pinky red face, so. I'm just being careful that I'm actually putting this all over the brush so that it goes on really evenly because it's a pretty deep shade. So I wanna make sure that I don't have to like buff it because I don't wanna disrupt what else is under there. Did y'all see my shorts? Did y'all see my shorts? How about my shirt? How about my pants? Yeah, the whole YouTube shorts thing. It's a very weird thing. I feel like we ran out of words in the English language. But my, my short that I made about traditional highlighting versus neon blushing, and you know what? I was watching the Kardashians this morning because it's Thursday and Kim is totally wearing neon blush instead of highlighter. And I was like, I mean, she didn't hear me. I'm just saying like, maybe we're all kind of, you know, sharing a, sharing a vibe, sharing a hive mind. IDK, maybe I like accidentally got the idea from her, but I've just always 
Loved the idea of waking my face up with something like very like bright and pink and maybe even a little bit lilac, you know? And uh, I'm noticing that they're probably doing both, you know? The Kardashians are very more is more, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that on my cheeks. I'm gonna use a cream. I'm gonna use the one from Persona, Bubble. Bubbles. Mm, 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 mm. My child has this thing where <laughs> when he has boogers in his nose, he just goes, nose <laughs> like i'm his servant which i technically am and then i run over there with a tissue <laughs> or i have the nose frida <laughs> debatably hygienic or you know just horribly disgusting however you want to look at it but i ask him i say do you do you need your snoofer that's what i call it i call it the snoofer and he'll say yes or no all right so bubble bubble is this crazy awesome neon pink and it's a very similar consistency to the triple threat color stick. It's just this like, yes, it's in a cream stick, but it really goes on more like a satin powder. Great hybrid texture. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let that chill for a second, let my skin kind of eat it. <laughs> and then we will strategize further, but we're gonna go in on the eyes next. I'm gonna use a quad that I don't think I have ever used on camera before. And is this one. It's the, maybe I have, but like, I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember doing it. So this is the Focus Eyeshadow Palette number two, and it's like the cool toned one. And it's going to be a mood today. I like it because even though it's cool toned, it's still like very like wearable. You know, it's not like outrageously desaturated like silver or something. It's actually this really lovely kind of taupe as the main shade, the like shimmer shade. Who texted me? So one of the coolest things about their eyeshadow formulas is that, and really everything in their line is that it's waterproof. So this is great stuff to wear to an event. I wore their lashes and their mascara and probably a lot of other things to my wedding. There's that, that's the shade. It's named Elizabeth. And it is, it's just this beautiful, like cool satin pewter kind of color. That's a big mood. It really is. I've used it like because I, I used to do, you'll see sometimes on Pinterest or on their website or on ads on Instagram and stuff, Thrive will have influencers do demos for their ads, like for their video ads. And I've done those before, but I don't do those as much anymore. But I did do it with this at one point. And there was a period of time where like my face was running a lot for the actual, like the CC cream, because I loved it so much, but it was unfortunate that I couldn't use it like in real life as much. I didn't realize that until later. Like it took a lot of, it's almost like doing an elimination diet to like figure out what's bothering your skin. All right, going in with the 202 here from BK. I'm gonna grab the shade right here. I like the Thrive eyeshadow brushes. They just don't really make one that's like a small enough blender brush for me. They make kind of a larger blender brush and they were kind of accidentally at the forefront of making a really good cream blush brush because they put out like a bronzer blush and a brush br bronzer. That was worst case scenario. Bronzer brush and blush brush that were kind of meant for powder, but they worked better for cream. And then they discontinued one of them because they were like, the feedback was like, these don't work very well for powder. And it was like, okay, but keep them around because they're great for cream. And they were literally this shape, so. A BK 101 is like my replacement for that now, but I did love those. And then they also have some really great ones that are like, you know, m more small like face powder brushes, but they don't have one that's like this size. And then they also don't have one that's like, I mean, I've never met one, honestly, other than the BK. This is the A504 that's like this size, it's so small. That is just so pretty. That is just so pretty. And that shade is called Diana, no. That is Kate. Literally the only thing that I have to do today is <laughs> do get a blood draw because I'm on an immunosuppressant for psoriasis. And so I <laughs> have to go once a year and, you know, make sure that I haven't contracted tuberculosis. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I'll probably get tuberculosis if I laugh about it, but nonetheless, yeah, I, uh, I have to go do that. And I'm gonna go to Michael's because I have just about the worst plan of all time for a Halloween look. And it's not, I mean, yes, I wanna do Abby Kadabi for my kid if he even like wants to be Elmo. We're not sure yet. I, honestly, I'm not gonna push him into doing anything. But the other idea that I had yesterday, 
everyone is, it's, it's gonna separate the wave from the chaff. <laughs> like, if you like it, you're gonna be like, heck yes, I will never unsubscribe. And if you don't like it, you'll be like, that girl. <laughs> I am taking to Beauty Guru Chatter to talk about what an unhinged human being she is. So, I might be blowing it out of proportion, it might just be funny. But anyway, uh, I'm using Victoria here, and that's the cool white, and just cleaning up a little. And I think that the best thing for me to do here, it's what I did when I kind of tested out this makeup look before getting on camera, is to take a little bit of the bronzer and put it in the eye look just so that everything comes together because that cool tone, like just a full cool tone story like that, not like my best look. I'm gonna throw it a little bit right here, basically on the parts of my eyes that I want to appear like they're coming forward. If you think, I haven't said this in a while, but if you think about your face as like a topography, right? Like if, <laughs> But like if you were to like lay down flat, right? <laughs> and like your face is like mountains and valleys instead of just being a face, right? If you think about it like that, that's the basics of contour, like using shadow and light to enhance an illusion. And what I'm really doing is taking everything that's at this like elevation and coloring it the same color. Do you see? It's like this part, of, I'm losing a lot of people, I know. But like this right here, this right here, this right here, like they're all gonna be bronzer colored because they're all the same elevation. So there's that. And I'm also gonna put out a little bit on my lid because that's another spot that I would want it to be warm, but I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'm just gonna do kind of right here. Makes a huge freaking difference. That little tiny thing. Trying always, like now, my brain is just churning on the ways to turn these into YouTube shorts that make them really useful. Because I think a lot of people were against YouTube shorts because they're like, I prefer long form content. But it's like, if you can distill down like a tip into a short, people are like, oh, thank you. Like, I didn't have to go digging around in your content to find that. So I think that there, you know, are use cases for it, but sorry, my camera died. I was just saying something about shorts and I was just gonna say that I think the worst part about shorts is that they're not monetized right now. They're going to be, but they're not yet. And so it's just twice as much work for creators with the same pay. And you really don't have a choice. You have to do shorts because otherwise your subscriber count just keeps like getting less and less and less. And I don't mean like, people unsubscribe it's just like they're not showing people long form content anymore the way that they were so it sucks okay so let's do brows eyeliner mascara i don't ha i just finished their brow pencil pretty recently and i'm working my way through some other ones and then i always use their mascara and their brow pomade's a little thin for me and it's a little bit like too much color I like it to be a little cooler and a little bit more hold. So um, I use, I've been using a bunch of stuff, but not that. Um, so I'm just gonna zoom through that real quick and then we will get two lips. Yeah. And then I'll just do kind of a little chat through.
This is definitely a mood. I like it a lot. I think for my lips, I mean, shocking, absolutely no one. We're gonna start with the khaki lip liner. Ooh, ooh, this is the end of it. I have another one, but like this is, it doesn't, it doesn't scroll up anymore, so. It's this just perfect mocha color. It's a really pretty neutral brown that works really well as like a lip contour on me. For the sake, for, for old time's sake, right? I'm gonna go with my Stephanie lipstick here. This is one of my first loves from Thrive, and it was the first time that I really found a color that was like neutral enough for me to wear because everything turns a little bit kind of like peach on me in the nude category. And it's very like grippy because it's matte. Blends really well with that lip liner. And then, you know, if you're feeling spunky, you can top it off with some gloss. So, all right. So I ran across Ashley in my drawer and this is just a good clear with some glitter in it. The eye look is making me feel like I need something a little bit cooler on my cheeks. And y'all know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> y'all know what's coming. I mean, that's just, that just looks like it belongs, right? It like brings everything together. If you're new here, this is Pat McGrath Flirtatious. And it is, as you can also tell, my favorite blush. It's just my favorite blush. And it just, yeah. It's got just enough of like a beige thing to it on my skin that it kind of pulls stuff together. But I don't lose the bubble pink as much but it's still like really effective. So quickly, I'm going to chat about like the price and claims on the CC cream because we haven't talked about it in a really long time. Okay, so they went from 18 shades at the original release to now 28. So they have added 10 shades for those playing along at home and that's pretty awesome. So it's $38, which was, I wanna say the price of the original one too. 91% agreed the Buildable Blur has natural skin-like finish. 88% said that Buildable Blur felt weightless and comfortable on their skin all day. 88% agreed the Buildable Blur provides long-lasting hydration. And 88% agreed that their skin looked brighter and more radiant after using Buildable Blur. That's something about Carissa. Man, when she puts a formula together, it like almost, I don't know if there's a single formula. <laughs> <laughs> where you can put hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in something and she doesn't do it. So there usually is that. So it says save 10% when you purchase the CC cream and the concealer. 24 shades in the concealer, but we're talking about the CC cream here. Okay, so it says our multitasking color correcting cream provides skin perfecting coverage, SPF protection, and long lasting hydration all in one. Available in 28 inclusive shades. So I think I would probably be, honestly, just because I know that they lean a little bit yellow, I think I'd go like 130 fair cool. Yes, it has vitamin C in it. Raw spectrum SPF 40. Flaxseed extract helps absorb excess oil, reduce shine to keep makeup looking freshly applied all day. Blur effect technology visibly blurs the look of fine lines and pores to create a smooth, natural looking finish that feels comfortable and lasts all day. Infused with smart pigment technology for color adapting coverage that visibly diminishes the appearance of redness and discoloration while adjusting beautifully to your skin tone to perfect and protect your complexion. I mean, I don't really know about, you know, any brand's claims to that effect of like an adaptive shade, but I was surprised at kind of how easily this did blend in. You know, when I just applied a little bit of it instead of kind of caking it on like I did off camera. And I am really just like always, always impressed with the poor blurringness of it. It's, I think that that's why I have such a, I don't know, so why I'm such a tough customer about a lot of these like quote unquote skin finish CC creams and skin tints and foundations that are coming out lately is because I'm like, where's the blur? You know what I mean? Like I love this, I call it almost like a glycerin finish because it does, it just completely smooths everything and makes my skin look fantastic. And like, I kind of don't want to settle for anything else after doing that. I just have not been able to wear this, like I said, a million times because of the arctan oxide. So 100% vegan and cruelty free, high performance products are always formulated without pair phthalates, sulfates, and synthetic fragrance. So yeah, it says, this is their actual claim, quoting the website, bigger than beauty, giving mission for every product purchase we donate to help communities thrive, fighting cancer, surviving domestic abuse, emerging from homelessness, adjusting to life outside the uniform, racial justice, underserved, sorry, I don't have my glasses on, underserved, marginalized youth, education, and LGBTQ+. So 
We love to see it. So they do have a shipping threshold, like a free shipping threshold of $35, but that means that, you know, if you buy this, it's $38, so you'll get free shipping on it. And, you know, if there are like any products that I recommend picking up while you're there, it's my favorite mascara, you know, on planet Earth, because I love a good tubing mascara. It is a little bit heavy for people who need to hold a curl, so don't get it if that's the case for you, because you'll find it really frustrating, but I love it because it comes in brown also, and I think they still have it. Yeah, they just came out with a blue, and it's, it's pretty cool too. I also recommend, obviously, my lip liner. It's, you know, I think it's the best shade ever, but I, I understand that, like, that's probably not... <laughs> It's probably not like, you know, everybody's perfect shade. So yeah, the reason that this feels like such a casual review is because I've loved this formula for so long. I have various like wear tests and things of it. <laughs> and all they've really done to, you know, my eye and to my experience is they've replaced the octanoxate and they've expanded the shade range, adding 10 more shades. And for any of y'all who have, you know, been kind of waiting for the information on this, I can definitely give this a stamp of approval. It is the same as you've always loved it, basically. And I'm really pumped about that to be able to finally start using this again because it's just so beautiful. Is it not? It's so beautiful. So I think I might try using it with the Charlotte Tilbury concealer just because, you know, something that's gonna brighten it a little bit more and get a little more coverage. I don't know, it'll be fun to play with, but yeah, y'all. That's kind of the vibe today. It's just something that we have to touch back to every once in a while is just, you know, revisiting all of my, my favy faves and getting a little bit of something different out of my Thrive collection. So, <sighs> feels good. Feels good to be, you know, revisiting that and I hope y'all did enjoy this. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe and love it if you did. Thank you so much for watching, for hanging out with me today. I love y'all so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!